And my 3D foamy had a little bit of flex. So it flew pretty well, but the tail would twist or bend in the wind. So I put uh, some CF rod, just plain old uh, 1mm that you can get. It's really nice. You can cut it, uh, you can just cut it with wire cutters. You don't have to worry about uh, using a Dremel and getting dust everywhere. And then I glued it uh, with uh, just some foam tack. Foam tack is good because it stays kind of pliable. You know, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't yellow, doesn't harden. And you can see here, there were some slots pre-cut in this, uh, in this store-bought model. But if you're doing your own, you can see you just cut a little slot like that and put, uh, put the CF rod in. There's a lot of patterns for how you can do that. This is just like a really typical diamond pattern. You can see there's a diamond on the side and on the, I mean from the top, and then on the side it just goes up and down. And here's why I'm actually making the video now, because I actually uh, bumped it to nose into the ground and popped these loose. But this is about how far it goes into the foam. Basically just cut a little slot so that you can get some glue in so that there'll be some glue uh, purchase and then put the CF rod into the hole and let it get uh, and let it kind of sit in the glue. I'd uh, show you how it got put into the hole but uh, I'm doing this one handed so that's a little bit uh, difficult. But you can see like there's the slot and it just kind of like sat into that slot. Uh, and, and until it was not uh, bent. So it worked pretty well for me and if you want to have your foamies fly a bit more solidly this will work well for you too I think.